Hi, well, welcome to the Old Geezer's Diary. My name's Chris, Chris Gosling, and I guess in this instance, I'm the Old Geezer. And today's topic, well, what's happening today? <laughs> you see it on the screen in front of you. In that fine city of Manchester, 60% of reported crimes are not fully investigated, says the Chief Constable. Now that's a dazzling bit of information, isn't it? From my point of view, I think that's really, um, I'd say that's quite, uh, I don't know, scary? Worrying? It's, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Because what's happened is that our wonderful government has constantly cut over the years the amount of money that they give to um, normal civilian, civil, if you like, services and just cut and cut and cut. So now we have less social services than we had. We have um, possibly less health services than we had, possibly not as effective health services as we had. And we certainly have much less effective police forces than we used to have. This story emanates really from the Chief Constable of Manchester Police. That's a man called Ian Hopkin. And this is what Ian Hopkins said. Cry cuts prevent us investigating 60% of crimes. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot of crime that's not investigated and a lot of crime that, in fact, effectively, the police believe they have to walk away from. He says that the police have been giving priority to dealing with violent crime and other more serious cases and have no choice but to drop lower level investigations including those into bike thefts and vehicle and shed break-ins. I suspect that it also applies to some other crimes as well, probably crimes like um, housebreaking etc. The police possibly go along and have a look but in fact do they do anything about it? Well your guess is as good as mine to be honest with you. Uh, I suspect not, and I suspect this is increasingly happening more and more of the places where people live. Good day to you, uh, Kevin. Um, <laughs> I'm oh, right, OK. Um, just had a little message from young Kevin there. Interesting, interesting story. We'll come back to that. Um, but, uh, yeah, from my point of view, looking at this one, we're looking at crime not being paid attention to when the police think it's relatively minor. But the question is, how minor do ordinary people, the people who are, if you like, the victims of crime, how minor do they think it is? It's a good question, isn't it? Because I don't pay my um, income tax, such as it is, and I don't pay my council tax to have crime ignored. I don't actually want the police to ignore any crime I'd like them to take notice of all of it. I have some viewpoints on it because we all do. One of the viewpoints I'd say is that if you were a member of parliament or an important person uh, and you reported your shed had been broken into you'd probably have eight police cars there on the spot uh, because I don't believe that um, policing in this country is equal to the to the vast majority of people. The, the reality, I think, for most people is that, uh, sadly, that if you have crime and you're an ordinary person like you and me, um, you get ignored. And if it's if you're a big and important person like, you know, someone in government or some senior figure, public figure, then um, let's face it, I think you probably get taken a lot more notice of. So what are we talking about? I think I'm saying essentially at this point that the government needs to decide whether they want to govern a civilised country or a less than civilised country. Do they want to run a country in which criminals are actually given a licence to commit crime or a country in which crime is effectively dealt with, researched, looked at and investigated? In that case we need to get the government to sort its arse out and say what do our people want? What do our people actually want? Do they just want low taxes all the time? Or would they like to have a police force that deals with its work, an NHS that deals with its work, etc., and pay the money in? We have to pay the money in, 
uh, to get those services. And I think, honestly, we're now on 20% tax. Inflation is going ahead. Honestly, I think tax should go up at the same rate as inflation. What can you say about that one? Tax should be around 25%. In Denmark, where they have a wonderful time with excellent health care, excellent pensions, excellent unemployment benefit, people actually pay around 30%, 30 percent, 30 percent plus, excuse me, of their income into the taxes and into other parts of the economy. I think the total sum is around 34 percent. Here we're paying around 20 percent and we're gradually losing civilization. <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? I'm Chris. This is the old geezer's diary. I will be back with you soon. But in the meantime, I'll say a very good afternoon to you.